No matter the business you're in, you've likely been told you need to network. Here was my experience early on with networking. You're spilling drinks and passing cards and creating no business. The key to networking is connecting. And connecting is the magic that turns it into a real business event. I've got a buddy of mine, Pablo Gonzalez, here with me, who is a master at connecting, connectwithpablo.com. Pablo, welcome. What an intro, Wally. Thank you, man. Happy to be here. I am happy seeing you. Give me the backstory. What led you to the position of a career as a connector? Ultimately, Wally, it's been leaning into what I love doing and what I do best. The way that I got to that point of being obsessed with human connection and being obsessed with every relationship that I can possibly make, that I can add value to people's lives, that I could affect in some way to create a legacy, started pretty early. I moved from Venezuela to the U.S. as the most American person in my family still. My first memory was enrolling into a preschool, being the only kid that didn't speak English, and trying to figure out how to connect. A year later, we moved to Spain, where I enrolled in a British academy, and I thought I knew English and Spanish at the time, and I get there, and I didn't understand either dialect, the Spain Spanish or the British English, and again, traumatized on not being able to connect. And ever since then, I've been pretty much obsessed with it, and it's, it's served me really well as a, as a young man where I was able to befriend adults and get my way, and then as I got older, I realized that the true value in connection is being of service to people, and that's really what fills my bucket. So I try to lean into it as much as possible. It's really, really helped me in a career that started at a Fortune 500, went into entrepreneurship, got acquired, went back into a company, then went into software, now I'm back into entrepreneurship, and I just keep leaning into it. What I love about your journey from being a young kid to being successful in construction, successful in software, is it's been your ability to connect with people that's caused each and every one of those to be successful. I'm going to guess even the sale of the company related to your ability to connect with the right person who had the interest and the ability to acquire the company. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I flatter myself by telling people that I, I consider my ability to connect the way that Kobe Bryant looks at basketball. I'm obsessed with it, right? Like I, I, Kobe's a gym rat. He's known for having a thousand hours in the gym. I have throughout my entire life looked for any opportunity to make a new connection, to meet somebody, to befriend someone, to add value to their journey. Kobe is obsessed with his losses and obsessed with his missed shots. I, I still think about conversations I've had three months ago where I'm like, man, did I did I say the right thing there to help somebody? Did I, did, did I, was, I, was I as useful as I could be? I still think about it. I study psychology. I study books on the mind. I formulate my own opinions on how to do this stuff, and I put it into practice, and I, and I learn from it, just, just, just like Kobe. <laughs> Talk to me about the value of connecting connectors, mm -hmm. even if their connection has no direct value to you individually. Wally, I think that the most powerful thing, and you're somebody that understands this, I think the most powerful thing is a stage. I think the human mind has evolved to rationalize what it sees. So if you can put somebody on a stage, anybody that sees them on that stage automatically assumes they deserve it. And therefore, that person gets great credibility walking into it and is allowed to an advantage in achieving whatever objective they're trying to achieve. Therefore, when you approach introducing people, when you approach connecting people to each other as putting them up on stages, you're automatically giving them that value. So when two connectors meet and you are the person that held that introduction, you're the one that had the stage that you put them together. And whether or not that ends up being a long-term connection for them individually to each other, you are always seen as the person that provided that value. Right. And I've found that the quickest, most efficient ways to connect with people are two. One is providing value to somebody, and the other one is sharing a vulnerability with someone where they, that, that they also have. Agreed. So Agreed. That's, that, that's one of two things. And I, you know, the more people that you do favors for, the more people want to do favors for you. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple. I'm smiling because you have articulated my secret sauce. <laughs> and uh, 
for those who would like to learn the secret sauce and, and, and get to know you and, and that mindset and the skill set of connecting, what's the best way to get a hold of you, Pablo? Go to my website, connectwithpablo.com, or shoot me an email, you should at connectwithpablo.com. Pretty simple. I legitimately want to befriend and add value to everyone I can possibly meet. So if you're seeing this and this connects with you, reach out. I'm happy to grab a cup of coffee, jump on a Zoom call, whatever I can do to help you out in any way. Connectwithpablo.com. I will tell you this, you, you'll not have a more enjoyable connection than with Pablo, and you won't find another guy who's more connected to the people you dream of being connected to than Pablo. Have a beautiful day.